What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And I'm a bit under the weather, but nothing is gonna stop me from reporting Nintendo news, especially of the NX variety. So what you're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, is a conference from AMD. And this is their custom win, whatever the fucking language that is. And they're showing off the Radeon RX 480. It's a new graphics card by AMD. And in short, this graphics card can achieve great power and efficiency at a cheap price. It's new technology from them. This man on stage says at one point that you can get premium VR for $200, the starting point, or the starting level for these cards. They also compare it to the, what this thing can do is basically the equivalent of a $700 card from their competitors. Now this rumor that the Nintendo NX is getting, the manufacturing is getting pushed back in order to fit VR into it. As you can see in the title, I say bullshit, because also in this report was the fact that the NX is going to be a handheld. It's all going to be a handheld that you connect to your TV. And first of all, this is only the first time this has ever been reported. You can't be working on the system now and go into mass production in January and hope to get it out by March. Absolutely not. Even if it's shipping at the end of March, this thing has to be ready by like the beginning of March, all packed up and ready to be shipped at least. So stores are guaranteed to have them by the release date. So it's pretty much confirmed that Nintendo will be using this AMD graphics card for their new system. You know Nintendo loves low cost, and if they can get power at low cost. And that's another thing, speaking of power. First of all, look at the size of this graphics card. Look at, look, it, it's basically the size of a handheld, right? All these graphics cards today are like this. How big is this handheld? If, if, if the NX was only gonna be a handheld, how big is this thing gonna be? You're gonna be able to fit something like this in there and, and make it look sleek? How are they gonna make a, a nice looking handheld with this huge thing inside and then they're gonna make all these, the screen and everything around it? Get the fuck out of here. That's another point. And we know, which was kind of official, that Nintendo has said that they don't want to be underpowered this time. But they, they, they admitted that one of their mistakes with the past couple generations was being, on, especially with the Wii U, was being underpowered. So third parties, it was hard for third parties to work with it. The lack of power makes extra work for third parties. And it's not really inspiring for them that they have to downgrade what they've made. Also with the Wii U, it was a different, it had a different architecture too. So not only would they have to downgrade the games, they would have to rewrite the whole game in general to get it on that system. They trekked it with Wii because it had such a big install base. They figure, okay, we'll, we'll do this and we'll, we can make some money because the install base is so big. But with you, Wii U, the install base wasn't there. So everything so far fits that this AMD graphics card is going to be with the NX, with the home console, okay? Because so many times we heard it's gonna be a console and a mobile unit. And like I said in, the la in my, one of my last videos, all these businesses somehow know what they're gonna make, right? I mentioned that like when, when Skylanders came out, <laughs> it was at the same time, Skylanders, uh, 007 Skyfall, and Skyrim all came out at the same time. It's like, <laughs> that was not a coincidence. You know, somehow they all know what they're going to do when they, uh, they figure, oh, the word sky is popular now. But not only that, look at Overwatch and Battleborn, two of the exact same concepts come out at the exact same time. Come on, you know what I mean? So this graphics card is going to be with the NX console, okay? And talking about this, uh, the industry trends and what they know what they're going to do, Sony has mentioned something to the effect, or rumors with the, the new Sony system so they're coming out, not a new system, but the upgraded PS4, is that it's, they're gonna have, the game's going to have a Neo mode, and a, a launch console mode for PS4. So, you know, they want all the games to be able to play it on all PS4s, which is, they need to do that. They can't make a new system. So you can have a Neo mode and a launch PS4 mode. And that's what I believe is going to happen with the NX. There's going to be a handheld mode and there's going to be a console mode. Everything's going to run off the same game card. But when you put it in the handheld, the graphics might be a little lower. But when you put it in the system, it's going to be system mode. And that's where the supplemental computing devices might come in and you might have that connected to your handheld if you want extra power. I think there's going to be a little bit different thing with the supplemental computing devices. So I think this rumor is bullshit. Look how big this graphics card is. Oh, but wait, if you, if, if you have any questions, 
Let's look at this. A Yahoo Finance article. Back to the semi-custom design of the Radeon RX 480. There's an article here on Yahoo Finance, and let's read this. Semi-custom business. AMD, which competes with Intel and NVIDIA in the CPU and GPU market, dominates the gaming console market. It's the sole supplier of semi-custom, there's the semi-custom again, processes for Japanese-based Sony's PlayStation 4 and Microsoft Xbox. Microsoft's Xbox. It has also won an order for Nintendo's upcoming console, code name NX. So you tell me how you're gonna get that graphics card into a fucking handheld and make it look like something enticing, like something you could bring with you, okay? So again, back to the price, they compared this graphics card to what their competitors' $700 cards can do. So if Nintendo says they learned their mistake from you know, not having their systems be power, powerful enough for third parties to work with. The only thing they could use is this graphics card because it's affordable. So do you really think a handheld is going to be able to do VR? Do you see the requirements for VR? This graphics card is one of the requirements or a similar one, the same size, much more expensive and a whole bunch of other things. So do you really think a handheld is going to be able to do VR? Maybe a supplemental computing device added onto the handheld will make you be able to do and have a VR experience. And then some might say, well, JCM, what are you talking about? The Samsung Galaxy has uh, uh, the VR capabilities and all that. Uh. But the Samsung Galaxy's power is not going to compare to industry-leading chips. That famous quote we've heard officially from Nintendo over and over. And plus, if you think about it, who talks about VR on the go? So if Nintendo is doing VR, it's going to be on the home console part. The, the, the mobile unit, you're going to be able to put your cards in there if you want to play on the go. And maybe they'll have a supplemental computing device you can hook up to the mobile unit that will give you the console's power down the line. But that's neither here. Oh, there. I think everyone's main concern with the NX is if it's going to have the power. The power. We want to see all our Nintendo games with that Nintendo power. We want to see third parties be able to dump as many games as possible on this thing to make this system thrive. And I think there's one other thing I want to mention. How the hell are you going to have a handheld that can do... That's supposed to have industry-leading chips that compete with home console power. How are you going to have that in a handheld? What the fuck is the battery life going to be like? How are you going to power this thing with battery? You think Nintendo is going to throw a laptop battery in this thing? I don't think so. Nintendo is not going to want you to spend, uh, to open up five credit cards to get this thing. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the rumor about Nintendo being delayed till January to put VR in there and it's going to be just one unit. It was just some rumor to make people's heads go back and forth, like, why, why, we've been hearing this the whole time now, what a twist, what a turn, oh my god, is it gonna be delayed? I think they just wanted people to go fucking crazy a little bit, so I call complete bullshit on this chunk of rumors there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel if you want to add health to your soul, and that is it for now. This is Joey, J-C-M, and I will see you later. Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. Wow.